While humans can't reverse domestication, there are some animals that can. One of them is the pink piggy, aww, also known as sus domesticus. And as the name implies, you should be sus of the domestication. Because if pigs are left in the wild, they can reverse domestication. I mean, it's not really reverse, it's more like adapting to the wild, but you know what I mean. Would that mean they're just called sus at that point? Hmm, good point. But that would mean that a child isn't a human man until 18. It's just a uh, you. First, let's look at what actually happens. Let's say a pig escapes. So what? My uncle Ronnie escaped from prison. It's not that hard, boy. Well, now the feralization process begins. Yeah, my uncle also went through that. The fur becomes shaggier, especially the mane. They become leaner because they run around more. And their social structure changes. All this happens in just a few months. Over a couple generations, they can have even more changes. They can grow tusks for defense. Their forehead grows flatter so they can dig better. Uncle, how you been? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm over here, nephew. Oh no, a wild pig. But why? Why can pigs evolve this quickly? Why does it only take a few months? And why is my shower drain clogged after I took a dump and stopped it down the drain like a waffle? All these questions could be answered by introgressive hybridization. This is when a species is domesticated, but then repeatedly, the older species is reintroduced into the gene pool. Cause they domesticated the pig, but it was too weak. So they bred it with a wild boar and then continued continued for a few clean generations, then bred it again with a wild boar, and then few clean generations again, then wild, then clean, wild, clean, clean. What? This gave the wild genes a permanent place in the gene pool. The way one study put it, it caused genetic erosion or the loss of genetic integrity in wild species. This also explains why men go bald, cause they be breeding with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I think. So when normal domestic pigs go into the wild, their feral genes turn on and they go gremlin mode. Not to be confused with goblin mode. They are separate, but there are differences between a once domestic pig gone feral and an always feral boar. Can you tell which is which? A once domestic pig will be chunkier cause that's how humans bred them to be. Whereas an always feral boar will be leaner. And their tails too. Formus domesticus sus Pigus will have a curly tail that might straighten out in a few generations in the wild. And always feral boars will have straighter, longer tails. And the reason domestic pigs can survive in the wild is because they are highly adaptable. They eat anything from fruits and insects in the summer to roots and scraps in the winter. They even eat dead animal corpses. But most importantly, they don't share their oats with their brothers. Share the oats, you're gonna die.